All right. So use Runic. Just take the slow route. And I tried to control one of those soldiers, and then nothing happened. So what's going on? Evil punch. Oh, that is crap. I don't want to be blind. Because all I'm doing is attacking. So I might have to use like a um, like an elixir to heal myself or something. I'm just gonna ignore those soldiers when they start showing up. Right now, I just want to try and keep attacking him. And it seems like Runic doesn't work unless the next thing he does is a freaking magic attack. Runic doesn't remain after. Uh, use another command. Hey, butts. I never said I was sick. I said I was sick earlier in the week. I said my work schedule, um, was all switched around. And I was working a lot hard all week and I was tired. And said I was sick. I was only sick, like, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday for sure. I was definitely still recovering there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you love me so much, why don't you marry me? Oh, no. Oh, sweet. Oh, crap. That would have been convenient. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, that might be convenient. Oh, it doesn't... Hmm. <laughs> okay. Ooh, look at that! That was a critical attack. <gasps> and it healed me! What?! Okay. You should be proud. There's no greater honor than facing off against me. Zeph, where's the real you? Oh, leader. Come here. Exile, I need you to get me some ice cream. I just listen to what Zeph wants to do with the Empire. That's not how it, how it is. Isn't it, though? That's how it's been for the last year. Even if... Even if... Even if this is the truth, Zeph, I won't lose faith in the Empire. We can make it glorious still. Exile, I love you. What? You know, there's no greater honor than facing off against Zeph. I'm sure he already knows. He's on the verge of tears. A fake! Ha, such a shame. Toying with your emotions like that, isn't it? What I said wasn't wrong. It was all true. At least as far as I know. If things continue as they are. Now, as they are now, then the Empire will be ruined. But, I can. We can change the future, Zeph. Future can't be changed, Exile. And the leader won't be lasting much longer either. I'll take her with me to witness my plan. It's always fun to watch. Oh, the espers are coming, huh? Cheap knockoffs. They think they can take me. Also, by the way, Buds, I just found out I have to go in early again tomorrow. Yay! I was told it wouldn't be all week, but I mean, what's the point? I'm already getting used to the early schedule now. Wait, we're here to help. Maybe I'll take a day off sometime this week. Hurry. Get going. Just to, like, get back on a regular sleeping schedule, if I have to.
it's the kind of thing that actually I'm surprised doesn't happen more often. But it's gonna be more of a, I think, regular thing going forward that I gotta get up super fucking early. The nice thing about it is I also leave really early, and no one gives me shit for it, because I know it sucks for me. So really, like, I'm only at work, like, probably six hours out of the day instead of, like, eight and a half I'm normally there. Oh, please, you espers are such cards, trying as hard as you are. Too bad for you, isn't it? Screen wipe attack! I don't even have to try. It's sad, really. I don't get overtime. That's the problem. That's why it sucks when I go in on Saturdays. I don't get paid for it. I mean, I'm on salary, so that's just how it is. The other thing is, I can also leave, like, halfway through the day, whenever I want. Uh, as long as it doesn't make me look too bad. And then I don't have to account for the time missed there, either. But that's because I do shit like this every now and then, too. Anyway. How about you show me what you've got? One on one. It's quite an honor. Haha, ah, it's an honor for you to be chosen to fight me. I'm very proud of you for, for your bravery. Bravery doesn't win fights. That's always a really cool looking attack. You only ever see it right there. Ah, what a shame, isn't it? You others would do well to watch my techniques. Ah, time to put you fools out of your misery. See, pals, I'm always thinking of you. I think this is good for now, at least until I go see what was left behind the door. Ha ha ha. But tell me you've played Final Fantasy VI before. I'm, I'm sure you told me you have, but I just wanted to make sure. Because otherwise I'd have to explain why this hack is totally not Final Fantasy VI. Exile. Okay, just making sure. Even if we were different, I respected the trust you had towards your country. We've got to stop Zeph. Hing, where's Nico? Did the Empire get rid of her? That's a shame. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got enough power. What worry do we have about some rocks? I, I can come. I owe T-Shark that much. I hope that Megaphil and the rest are alright. They should be fine. Hi, talking about us? When we seen Zeph and the leader leave, we figured out something was up. Well, it wasn't down. Freaking snakes always get me. Superb. It was all thanks to me. I saved the day. I was out snooping on the leader when I saw Zeph take her away. Why were you snooping? Ah, that doesn't matter, now does it? All that matters is that I noticed it first. I'm good. Exile's gone. Zeph betrayed him. Is is that so? At least he can't make fun of my green armor anymore. But still, what a shame. <laughs> Let's get back to the airship while I plan things out. Someone else is planning things. I'm coming. And you are? He's a friend of T-Shart's. His girlfriend here thought T -shart, or taught T-Shart how to use magic. Girlfriend, is that true, Kitsune? I, I, um... Zeph almost certainly has something planned. He wouldn't just blow it like that. Candy, I gotta protect you. You're still hurt, I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you need all that armor for? To protect Candy. We went over this, Candy, please. I've got to use my power to help. Yeah, I know, just be careful. 
Hmm, you're scary, you know that? That's an image I like to project. You, I'm... Kitsune, calm down. We're all friends here. If you're going to come, calm yourself. Right. Come on then, I trust you. I trust you too. Let's go. Let's go. Red guy, are you okay? <laughs> Do you think you could protect me from her? No trouble. That's what I'm here for. I'll come. I've got to... I've got to... Thanks. She's scary, you know? <laughs> hey, Rob. What's going on? Okay, save for a minute. So I've made it past the point where my game froze up on me yesterday. Empire's head to that stupid door the Espers made. Heard there were some rocks there. Rocks? So he went to visit Exile. How was he? Seeing as how it was day 9 of his 3 day trip, I bet it'd be safe to guess either not well or not at all. But don't worry, I'm here to protect you. You're so concerned about my feelings, Zeph. I might have misjudged you. Naturally. Well, what can I say? I have a big heart. So, what can we do, other than just roll over and die? We can't do a thing, probably. <laughs> You're packing a Super Bowl? Yeah, then you'll know how I feel right now, probably. Whoa, we're flying, Zeph. What's going on here? Is this a surprise birthday gift? I love it. It's something like that, yes. Now how about we wait for the fireworks? Oh no, there's no mistake. That continent is rising off the planet. The rocks. If the rocks are moved too far from their original places, the planet could be altered forever. Of course, before we go check out the floating continent, and I'll probably change games before I do that, then uh, we have to first check Doma Castle, which is here. I was gonna make that the first thing you do before you go to the floating continent. And of course, you gotta go to Thamasa's shop and buy like a bunch of equipment for everybody. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm probably just gonna loot the treasures in this castle, since I can now access it. And then after I loot the treasures, then um, save my game and I'll just check out uh, what happens when I try to find the floating continent, just uh, just to see if there's any like dialogue or whatever. And then from there, I'll probably just... I might not deal with that, I might just, uh... put in something else. Hey, camp is here now, too. Alright, what's in here? Alright, how about in here? Nope. Or do I? Perhaps I do? No, surprisingly. There's like nothing really that good in this castle. There's like... Well, I think there's like one more thing if I go down this way. And there's like a relic. Okay, good. There's treasures now. Phoenix down. Stone of Joe! Okay. Don't know what that is. Let's go find out. 
Go find Stoner Joe. What's this? Weakens user, but... Oh! A bunch of people can use it. Oh, not gonna mess with that right now. Uh, I should probably arrange, though. Well, it probably just stays right there. Alright, and then... I don't suppose there's anything over here. Nope. See, I'm not doing anything for the Super Bowl. I never do. Like, back when I was younger, I probably just... It was an excuse to get drunk with friends, but... I never follow sports, so... The time I ever sort of followed sports was back in the... Uh, Chicago Bulls days. Because everyone did. Hmm. Well, since I got a few guys here right now, um, I'll take requests. I, I can uh, stream Mega Man ROM hack, or I could stream uh, that Final Fantasy VI Return of the Dark Sorcerer hack that just came out yesterday, which I created a save state on, and I'm kind of... Uh, and if it ends up being 50-50, then I don't know what I'll pick. Anyone can vote right now. What game I end up putting in next? I'm going to do it in just a moment. Alright, first I'm gonna just create another save point back by Tomasa. And then uh, after I save there, I'll just check out the dialogue as I go through for the floating continent. Alright, Camp, what do you want to see? Or butts? A different Final Fantasy VI hack that's brand new? Actually, it's version 2.0 is brand new. Or uh, just some Mega Man. Uh, yeah, especially this one that really fucks with the dialogue. So we'll just check the dialogue here first real quick, and we'll put in Mega Man for a little bit. Alright, let's get on there. Oh yeah, I gotta pick three. Well, I don't know, shit. Probably one... Uh... Yeah, cause you have to... You have to equip them all. As you can see, I've named them all after Snupster characters. Actually, I'll put them back so I can go through them one by one. There's me, that's T-Shart. There's Buzz Monkey, Felon. Megaphil, because the Red Mage later on gets the X magic command. Lady Smail. Zenkaroshi, formerly of Snupster. That's why sitting on the outside right there. Zargon, because it sounds kind of like a pirate name. Ultima, because she has long hair. Badman, because furry. Candy, because Candy Bars likes ninjas. And then uh, Kitsune, because that's all that was left. And you get Kitsune right after Candy. And Kitsune comes right after Candy. That was my logic there. So fucking, I don't know, we'll put the furry in, and then we'll just see what the... Oh, I have to pick three? Hmm, okay. Well, in that case, uh... Yeah. I'm just gonna change the game in just a second here. I just wanna see if the enemies are the same. It's like the same value fight, like, six times, and then you fight a boss. Oh, it was Supreme Sky Scourges SSS. <laughs> oh, shit. With a name like that, we're finished. <laughs> wow. Okay, so these enemies look the same. And I'll put in something else now. 